Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is day two of moving into my dream studio. Guys, this is like something out of a movie. I am in love with the place. So originally my moving video was supposed to be one video, one vlog, but this has turned into a very big project. So this is day two and here we go. <laughs> So it's just me today. I don't even know where to start. I am very overwhelmed in a good way, but I don't know where to start. So we're just gonna see what happens. going to work on the shipping station first my line of thinking is like it's a corner let's tackle a corner first and then we'll move on to the rest of the room <laughs> I just use shoe racks to organize every single shipping supply I have. To figure out how I want to organize these inventory shelves. I'm used to my inventory kind of being all over the place and I've never really had designated shelves before. So I bought these like big like plastic stackable bins and now I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize everything. So 
might take me a minute to figure this out. I just have to show you guys the mess that is the studio right now. I'm trying to organize all the inventory at this point. These were the bins I was talking about. And this is a brand new like storage system to me. So I have to restore it, like resort every single product. So I have to label it, sort it. It's it's gonna take a while. guys that is it for today at least this is gonna go into tomorrow because I'm still not done I'm wiped <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a workout this was going to be it's about 10 30 p.m. Sunday worked all day today still not done so I will see you guys tomorrow on Monday good morning it is Monday and this is going to be day three of moving into my new studio. I'm feeling super, super energized this morning. I am ready to go. We've got, I did most of the inventory last night, but today I'm gonna like get my desk set up and I'm also gonna like get things on the wall today. I have a pegboard. I wanna go up on the shipping station, get some wall art up to make the walls more fun and just keep kind of organizing because I still have like little tidbits I need to organize. So that's what we're doing today. things that I'm most excited about is this little vase right here. I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but in the very early 2000s, there was a store called Dry Ice, and it was like the store to go to. It had like the inflatable like sofas and like just super like whimsical, like groovy kind of like style decor. It was like every like teen's dream, 
like for room decor. And so that's kind of like my goal for this studio is just like building a studio that my inner child, my younger self would just adore. And this vase reminds me of that store. And that store was one of my all time favorites as a kid. And I was so sad when it went out of business. I'm so excited for this. Let's get this open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we got one side off, we gotta do the other. Guys, look at this, it's a vase. <laughs> I love it. Just wait till you see what I'm gonna put in it. Toby is going to ruin this. I'm calling it right now. We'll see how long this lasts. Oh my gosh, he's going to love this. My mom and I moved into a new house when I was in fifth grade. It had this beautiful finished basement and I remember asking her if I could turn it into a store for my artwork and here we are all these years later. It might be a different house but I actually finally made that wish come true that my younger self had. My basement is now my store and my art studio and it's a pretty surreal feeling and it's one that I still kind of can't believe that it happened. 
This studio is honestly my new happy place and I cannot wait to continue just to grow my small business in this new space. And now the moving process did end up going into day four because I had a few more things to put on the walls and organize and I had to set the electronics up and one of my new printers was being a little bit temperamental but I finally got it to work. But I mean the majority of this moving process was completed within the past three days so I thought it was going to take me a lot longer than that, so it was pretty cool that it didn't take me that much longer because that meant I could go back into packing up all your orders that much sooner. So this is going to be the end of this video. I just want to thank you guys for coming along with this moving process for me. I have loved having you guys along for the ride on this journey and there's so much more to come. Next week I'm going to be posting a full studio tour showing you everything in the studio like the shipping station, working station, cameo cutting station, my bookmark and sticker club packing area, hangout area, bookmark corner, all that fun stuff. So I cannot wait to share it completely with you and give you a little walkthrough. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this.